Hi, my name is Tom DeRico, editor of the Brattleboro Reformer, and this is the Reformer Weekender, our little experiment at providing the readers with a internet webzine, if you will, spotlighting local notables in the community and uh, other videos that we take around Wyndham County. The newspaper industry is constantly changing, and over the past year and a half, you'll notice that we've uh, made a lot of changes and updates to Reformer.com. First, we started providing a lot more video to uh, accompany our photo journals and stories. Now we've gone through a complete redesign overhaul, and this could possibly be the next step in what we have to offer you. But we'd like to hear what you, the viewer, thinks. So please don't hesitate to give me a call at 802-254-2311, my extension's 252, or shoot us over an email at news at reformer.com and in the subject line put Reformer Weekender. In this edition of the Weekender, we'll take a look at some fire department safety training, have a conversation with Steve West of WKVT, host of Live and Local, and we'll finish things off with a performance from local musician Lisa McCormick. Enjoy the show. Brattleboro and Putney firefighters are, are here learning skills to save themselves. Um, we've always been taught and, and our, obviously our, our main goal was to save citizens when they're trapped in fires and really never concentrated on saving ourselves and that's the objective of all the training here today. I love that sound. Yeah. <laughs> Get to uh, the more important stuff, like what's going on in our lovely area. Uh, well, I guess I'll say what the inception was. Um, I stumbled into this. I never did radio before. I'm just a blabbermouth who, who spends too much time reading the news and, and being a smartass, basically. I can say smartass, yeah. <laughs> um, and the show started. There was another guy doing it, and uh, the station had Audrey Garfield, you know, on the line to do a show a week. And I stumbled into this because I was advertising here because it's an Amer Air America station. I thought, oh, they can get my money. And so I just, and I knew how to run a board from being a musician, so it just kind of fell that way. So the show has shaped itself over time to be what I consider to be like part of the public conversation. Uh, the weather forecast brought to you by, I, I can't remember, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2 p.m. Storms could be severe with damaging winds, heavy rain, and frequent lightning. Yeah? But, I, you know, I, I get a lot out of this and, and hopefully provide something. Again, I provide information and content, content to people, uh, but also, I mean, being a smartass, I think, you know, and just trying to make fun of things, stuff that's really kind of dark, 
um, can sometimes be helpful, I hope. What happened when we started the show it was two hours, and believe me, when I first started I didn't know what I was doing, that was a long two hours. Um, and then the show became more and more popular, uh, which we can only base on anecdotal information and, and the fact that it takes me forever to get through the co-op, people want to talk about whatever's being talked about. Um, and I take that as true, so we expand it to a third hour, so instead of 9 to 11, we're now on from 9 uh, in the morning till noon. And, you know, most of that's content, there's, you know, commercial messages in between. But that, you know, we just blab, or I just blab, or depending on who's here, whether it's phone calls, um, it's just a full blab for three hours, and, and, you know, I'm happy to do it. But to sort of, sit, I, I see myself as a, as a placeholder for a kind of town conversation, you know, where... Uh, people can throw in all they want. I mean, sometimes I get on my own little diatribe and you go off on something that I'm, I'm incensed about or happy about. Uh, but largely I see it as, a you know, to have the editor of the Reformer come in, to have uh, Chris and Lise come in, to have Philip Ruth come in, to have, you know, people who are players in the conversation and sort of either foment or highlight what's going on or just help people, you know, a, a kind of purging opportunity to just kind of, blah, you know, kind of get it out there and then kind of fish through it after that. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Uh, but largely, I just see it as an opportunity for the town to have a collective conversation, which in other media forums is not really that available. And, you know, talk radio being, you know, the people who listen to the station are already pretty informed and already pretty aware of people who listen to the program, and they can throw in their opinions, and God knows I have mine, but I try to defer to other people's wishes. I don't come across as any authority. I'm just some doofus doing a radio show, you know. I know a couple of things about a couple of things, but largely I'm just kind of making it up as I go, like everybody else does. And a high near 78. They say I won't even commit to it. Not high of 78, near 78. Well, you know, look at that. It's kind of a little wishy-washy. I'm not saying, I'm just... You know. Yeah, this is Reformer TV. All right, one, two, three.